Madam Tax. Sean Smith lives right here in Claremont. Put aside the politics of, of all of this for a minute. For mom, this is about losing a son and still not knowing why. With her reaction to Hillary Clinton's testimony live in our newsroom right now, here's Katie Wissai's John Soder. John. Thanks, Ross. Pat Smith says she just wants to know one thing. Exactly how did her son die? My son is dead. I can't do anything about that. But please, God, save the ones that are there. We need better people backing them. Claremont resident Pat Smith is at the point in her life where she has nothing to lose. That's because she already lost the most important thing in her life, as in her only child, Sean. Sean Smith was one of four Americans to die during the siege of the American consulate in Benghazi, Libya on September the 11th. And because of her incredible suffering, this is a greedy mother who's not afraid to speak her mind. Who do you blame for your son's death? Obama. But he supposedly was not even allowed to carry a gun. And Smith's reaction to the testimony of Hillary Clinton, especially Republican criticism she never saw requests for beefed up security at the compound. But I don't think she did her job. I don't think she did what she was supposed to do. She was supposed to have read all the memos. She didn't read the memos, the ones that says, help. <laughs> she didn't even look at them. And so who was it that looked at them? The underlings? Now the underlings are running the country. That's very good. But what frustrates Smith the most is the fact she says the government has never made good on a promise to tell her how her son died. Hillary Clinton has reached out to the family of Ambassador Stevens, uh, visiting with them, writing with them. Has anyone from the government reached out to you? Not one period. Not a doubt. Meantime, residents of this Claremont neighborhood are not happy about the way the federal government has treated their neighbor. What was your reaction when you heard that instead of somebody, somebody coming to the front door to tell her son was dead, she found out by a phone call in the middle of the night? Oh, the whole thing has just been pathetic. I mean, nobody deserves to hear your child's gone. That way, I mean, I certainly want to, wouldn't want to hear about it that way. Um, but it's what's worse is that she just has no answers. They've given her no answers whatsoever. They've given her the runaround. But I want to know what happened to my son. Okay, thank you so much. Now Smith believes her son died from smoke inhalation, but no one from the federal government has officially told her so. In the news, John Sloan, the King Center.